the Coastal Bend Sports Authority, Alan Harwell, with your Chris 6 Sports Report. Hi, good evening everybody. Alan Harwell with Jeff Dubroff. We're having the early, early edition of the Friday Night Fever. We're about 130 miles from our Chris 6 Studios, but we wanted to make the trip to cover yes. the Sin Pirates. Early, early, late edition of the yeah. Friday Night Fever, right? But Thursday night, you get four games from around the area. It's, I agree. You know, playoff football this is the way we want to start it off well for the pirates they haven't played in three weeks so we didn't really know what to expect we kind of figured they might be a little bit rusty taking on pearsall tonight and early on coach michael troutman gave them the old pep talk oh, Listen in. right from the very start Play at that next level right now it starts right now understand that right now let's go get out let's All go right, so the pirates got the ball and on their opening drive is quarterback renee galvan he'll take it himself and he will score from 15 yards out. And just like that, the Pirates had themselves a 7-0 lead. Now, following a Pearsall safety, it's Galvan. Again, we've seen this all year long. This made it 15 to nothing. The Pirates playing some great defense also. Simply nowhere to run for the Pearsall Mavericks. They had a 22-0 lead at halftime. And then it would be all, all sent in the second half as well. Jeff, they rolled to an easy 57-8 win tonight. So they advance on to play Giddings next week. Afterwards, I had a chance to catch up with Coach Troutman and the star of the game. Yeah, I mean, I'm in bottom line, Alan, is that um, the boys came out and played. Um, there's some stuff we got to work on. We always got to take care of the little things and not be satisfied and continue to get better every week, every week. Despite us being in the playoffs, it's a continuing process and the boys got to trust it and it starts in practice every day. Renee, the offense looked pretty good for not playing for three weeks. Your thoughts? Uh, you know, we just keep working hard every week, in a day in and day out, and we just trust in our coaches. We get everything we got. This team looks like it could be very special. Tell me about that. Yeah, we, which is a great group of guys. Uh, it's a brotherhood, and we do everything together. I mean, we grew up together. We play football together, and uh, I think we have a chance to make a deep run. All right, another big win for the Sinton Pirates. They've won seven in a row now. You were in Three Rivers. You checked out the Taft Greyhounds. I How'd did, you know two or four games tonight, the second of which Three Rivers taking on Stockdale, or excuse me, Taft taking on Stockdale and Three Rivers tonight. The Greyhounds looking to get back to the second round for for the first time in quite some time. The offense, though, to start for both teams, not quite there. You know, Taft had to punt on every single one of their drives to start the first half, except the last drive. We'll get to that in a little bit. Look at the defense, though, here by Taft. Cutter Clancy passing it to Jeremy Irwin. Daniel Perez with a nice stop. There you see it. Scoreless at the end of the first quarter. Now a little quarterback on quarterback crime. Cutter Clancy plays both sides of the ball. Allen intercepting Suarez there. That's Sean Suarez, the Taft quarterback. Here comes Stockdale with good field position. This might have been the play of the night. Watch this. Look at over the middle, Kevin Galindo laying out, deflecting it on fourth down. It's going to set up this. Now, finally, Taft gets some rhythm, play action. Sean Suarez over to Kevin Galindo. He's at the 30 now. He's going to look. Look at him finding time in the pocket, and then he's going to escape, scramble, throw on the run, finds Galindo on the sideline again. Watch him barrel his way down. Oh, my goodness. That is some weight room strength there down into the 10, and then it's going to set up a wildcat play. Here we go, Jeremiah Sanchez, easy touchdown. Seven nothing at half, Taft goes on to win 20 to 14. And as I mentioned, four games tonight. The other game, we have Alice. You got Alice. a big score for Alice, don't you? Alice, a big win, the four seed over one seed upset, 21 to 14. And then obviously Skidmore tying in that fourth game, they fall to post 71 to eight. So their season is over. So three out of four wins tonight for the Coastal Bend, a successful night, I would say, for our teams. It, it certainly was. And how about those Dallas Coyotes? All mm -hmm. those COVID-19 issues, they had to forfeit a couple of games this year, and yet here they are in the second round. Okay, we want to remind everybody, we got game night South Texas tomorrow night. Live from Buccaneer Stadium, I'll have the play-by-play -play as the Ray Texans take on the King Mustangs. That's a 7.30 game on KDF. And, of course, Friday Night Fever tomorrow night. We've got a lot of games. Mm -hmm. They're telling us we got to go, and we'll have more for you right after this.